Hello, hello! Welcome back to my little chatty, sassy corner here on YouTube where I talk about all things luxury, be it luxury fashion, luxury travel, life's luxuries in general. And today I'm doing part two of my Orlando shopping extravaganza. Well, okay, extravaganza might be a little bit extravagant, but my Orlando shopping vlog, that was my last video. This is the unboxings for that. And I checked off a couple of wish list items that I was super thrilled and excited about. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So first up, let's do things from Ralph Lauren. So the first top that I picked up is just this little red waffle knit and it has just the suede, whoop, suede dies in the front. And it's just a really cute basic top. This was not on sale, but I had my coupon, so this ended up being 60. Now we are going into winter where I live and I absolutely love a good turtleneck. Quite a few of my turtlenecks have become worn out over the past few years. So this was just a nice basic pickup and it's just a nice cream turtleneck. This was 110 with my coupon. And then the third and final item that I got from Ralph Lauren is going to be this top, which ended up being 120 after my coupon. And this I'm going to save in case it is really warm on Christmas day, because occasionally we'll have a 70 degree Christmas, sometimes we'll have a white Christmas. So I will definitely be wearing it, but I'm gonna wait till Christmas day in case it's really warm and I need something that is just this nice, cute short sleeve plaid and like these sleeves puff up a little bit. And I thought it was really adorable. Now at the end of my shopping vlog, you will have seen that I went into Louis Vuitton when I was back in Nashville. My say gave me all of these different fragrance samples. If you have a favorite fragrance from Louis Vuitton, I'd love if you'd put it down there so that I can see if it's in my samples so that I can try it out first. And then, and then she also just gave me this book. Now you will have seen in the thumbnail that I did come out with a big bag from Hermes. It is not a bag, but it is certainly a major wish list item for me that I was super thrilled to get to check off. Um, but before that, she did my wonderful essay in Hermes, sent me home with two books. One is like an actual like hard Maison book. And this is actually like for all of the different furniture in Hermes and like it's a legit book. So super excited to have that. And then she also sent me home with this catalog so also really excited to have that and then i have not opened this box yet since she tied the ribbon around it and i was just thrilled if you had some eagle eyes in the video you may be able to guess what this is one based on the box size one it did actually show up in some of the footage and And I was not planning to get this, but my husband really liked it. He knew how much I loved it and how much I was wanting it for my office when we move, which should hopefully be sometime soon. And it is the Hermes Avalon 3 blanket. I did get it in the red and tan colorway. And I will put a picture on screen because there's no way that I could hold this up and you could see all of it. It was definitely a very expensive purchase, but fortunate, fortunately, Fortunately, we're not really having to buy a whole lot of furniture when we move as family says, oh, like we have an extra of this, we have an extra of that. So even things like lamps and art, we should be covered on for our walls. And so this was our big splurge for our house that we're moving into. And I'm just going to tuck her safely away before the move. And you will certainly be seeing her behind me in future videos. I was thrilled to get this. We were between the um, red and then the chamomile color that I talked about in my husband reacts video, which I will link here somewhere and down in the description below in case you want to watch that and have a laugh. But they had this color. They had every single color in the blanket. Like they had gray, they had blue, they had the red, they had, I think even maybe another color, but they didn't have the chamomile. And so we were like, well, then the red is definitely what it was destined to be. The red was our number one choice anyway. 
So super thrilled to have this wishlist item. Now this next item I did just order online. I did order it in just because I wanted to try it. I had a coupon and I got it from Farfetch and that is the Wolford bodysuit. This is the Colorado bodysuit, which is the classic one. And oh my goodness, like this thing, it doesn't show a single lump or bump. It smooths everything out. It's not overly snug, particularly underneath where it fastens, which I found to be a real issue with bodysuits, getting them small enough to fit me, but not so long that, or not so short that they kind of hurt and are uncomfortable. This is super comfortable. And it was expensive, even with the discount when you added on tax, it ended up being 190. But honestly, this is so worth it. It is such a high quality, like this will last me like 20 years. And I highly recommend at least having one of these bodysuits in probably like your most warm winter color, which for me is black. And so super glad I got that. Also in black and a very good deal for me is going to be the Mim new tank that she's come out with that has the silk buttons on it. And then you can reverse it and just wear it on the smooth side. I ended up only having to pay $10 for this because I had a 15% off coupon. I had a $70 gift card from where I had tried on a item that they were testing and so they sent me a $70 gift card for that. I ended up returning that item just because it was too big. And then so with that and then with my points that I had from writing reviews on different items that I'd tried, I only had to pay $10 for this and it's like a $90 top. And so super excited for that. I do enjoy Lily Silk products. Um, I will say they don't have the super nice packaging boxes that they used to if they came in. They've now switched to a recyclable material. So if you're thinking about gifting it, they may still have a gift box option, but just keep that in mind that you don't get the nice box like you used to get. And then the next to the last item in this haul came from Nordstrom Rack, and that is the Givenchy scarf. So in my video, it was... I can't remember if in my husband's reacts video if this was on sale yet or not but it did go on sale and we just decided to go ahead and get it and I'm really glad because within like two days after I checked all of these were gone once they had gone on sale and so really glad to have this for my winter wardrobe as I did not have a good gray black scarf to wear and like I said I wear a lot of black so this is going to be super useful for me and it feels so soft and wonderful and warm without being really, really hot the way that some scarves can. And it's also not itchy as well. Um, so very excited about this. I am trying to locate a Givenchy box to store it in because right now it's just sitting on my desk because I want to keep it in a box to keep it nice and protected the way that I do with my Burberry scarves. And then if you looked at the thumbnail, you will have seen a Burberry bag and there is something in this dust bag from Burberry. This was another big wish list item that I checked off my list and it was the thing that I went into Burberry to find and it is a black trench. I was determined to get a black trench at the outlet. What I didn't realize is that I would find this perfect black trench. It was in the back. They went and they got it for me and it is just absolutely stunning. It has the classic Burberry lining but it is black and I wanted black because I don't really wear it that much tan. If I'm wearing tan in the rain it's probably gonna be navy and I have a still very functional trench that's while it's not a Burberry it's still a very nice navy trench. And this, I was told that it is the Kensington when I got it, um, which would have made this an outstanding deal. It was actually not the Kensington. It is the, I believe, the Harburn after doing some research. And I figured that out because it doesn't have the buckles on the back, but it does still have the uh, rain protector that comes off here. It still has the epaulettes and it still has the belt. So this was actually originally a $1,300 coat that I got at the outlet for $450. So still a fantastic deal on a Burberry trench. I've never seen a Burberry trench go this low. And I think it was because this was the only one left in my size and it is a discontinued style. So I was super thrilled to get this and super thrilled with the price as this is, like I said, it's like half of the cheapest that I've ever seen a Burberry trench go for online. So really stoked to have this and I've actually already worn this so it's not a true unboxing as I used it at work this week because I just could not wait to wear this trench and I'm so glad to finally have the Burberry trench. I'll have a picture up somewhere in here of it. And with that, that concludes my luxury shopping haul from Orlando. 
I am very excited about this. I have told my husband to be very, very reasonable on Christmas because of the blanket and this trench, which I actually bought the trench, but I am still super excited with the great finds that I found. I always have a lot of good luck when we go to Orlando, and so I suggest that if you are in the area to definitely check out the Vineland Premium Outlets, as well as go over to Malt Millennia, get some Lauderock chocolate, which we have already eaten, so I can't show you that at all. Um, but make sure to go get some chocolate, stop in at Hermes, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Bye!